one of them can tell you every detail of last year's 7-5 and five season and the hopes that come with Jim Tressel's second year in Columbus. Those hopes include a recruiting class that's ranked second in the country. Hey, it's a spring game. How important is that in Columbus? Please. Approximately 37,000 fans showed up today at Ohio Stadium Mercy. Many mixed emotions today, though. Scarlet quarterback Craig Kinzel out of the pocket looking for receiver. Still looking, throws in. That's picked by Mike Doss. Great quarterback, Scott McMullen. Well, having a little bit better luck. This time he connects with Chris Vance. And they get plus five for the face mask on a teammate. Scarlett bringing some D here. Will Smith gets the tap sack. Third of the first half of the Scarlett team. As for offense, well, this is big. Mike Nugent from 31. Good. Gray takes the Scarlett today. Six to three. OSU opens the season against Texas Tech in the Pigskin Classic and faces UCAT UC at Paul Brown Stadium in late September. And speaking of the Bearcats, they played their spring game today as they lay the groundwork for year two of the Gino Gadouli era. Number eight was great as a true freshman and vows to be bigger and better as a sophomore. We'll take you to Jimmy Nippert when the rap returns. I really know what I'm doing this year. Last year I was just kind of going out there and, uh, you know, seeing what I was seeing and just throwing the ball around. But, uh, this year, I know where I'm going before the play, and uh, you know I'm a little bit more comfortable with where my receivers are going and what they're going to do in certain situations, and I think they feel the same way about me. Welcome back. Gino Gadulli not only led UC to seven wins in a bowl bit as a freshman, he brought some buzz back to Bearcat football. After leading Highlands High to back-to-back -back state titles, he crossed the Big Mac Bridge and made football in Clifton a thrill a minute, leading the Cats to dramatic come-from-behind wins five times. This year, another local high school legend joins him in the backfield, Ohio State transfer Richard Hall, who's eligible to play after practicing with the team last year. They were opponents in this year's red and black game. Our Chris Ralston attended the spring fling. Nippert Stadium, like the rest of the Tri-State, was a rain-soaked mess this afternoon. But the rain wasn't the only thing pelting players in the first half. The defenses dominated early, swarming to anyone with a ball in hand. The defense has been holding us down all, all year so far in spring ball, and, uh, you know, they put us on the first two scrimmages, but uh, I was like, man, this, this guy's going to continue today. The only play of note from either offense in the first half was a dandy. George Murray was able to elude Antoine Peake and hit Ladera's fan for a 61-yard touchdown pass, 8-3 red team at the half. While the defense has ruled the first half, allowing just a total of 11 points, half number two belonged to Gino Gadouli and the Bearcats' high-powered offense. And it didn't take long either. Gino goes deep to a wide-open John Olinger for 58 yards, and the black team takes a 10-8 lead. Next possession, it's Gino up top to Ty Keith, down the middle for 54 more yards. That's what you're going to expect with Gino. We have to have a good running game and a compliment, uh, but by the same token, number eight uh, is going to be able to put the ball up in the air, and we have to have three or four good guys to go get it. And right now, Keith and Van and Olinger and those guys uh, are just uh, what the doctor ordered for Gino. In the second half, I think we uh, came out more focused. We sit down and had a talk and decided that we needed, to, if, if we was going to win the game, that we needed to come out and, and make big plays, and um, big players need to make big-time plays in big-time situations. So. Um, that's basically what we did. The Black added three more unanswered TDs. The first was on this Jeremy Jackson interception of George Murray. Jackson showed off his running skills and returned it 68 yards for six. Junior running back David Harris also added two fourth quarter touchdowns. The final, Black team 37, the Red 8. And although his team lost, former Wyoming high school star Richard Hall also shined. Paul ran for 91 yards on 22 carries. He's a great running back. He's, he, he almost reminds me of Barry Sanders, how Barry can, you know, make the moves, make the moves, get guys off. I don't think I'm, I did anything out there today that they hadn't seen last year on scout team. So I think I think they know they got a good back, and, you know, and I'm, I know I'm with a good team, so I think that's a good connection. For The Wrap, I'm Chris Ralston. Chris, thanks very much. UC opens the football season on Labor Day against TCU. Then it's West Virginia at Nippert and Ohio State at Paul Brown Stadium. And still to come on the show, 